Republicans are about to suffer an embarrassment in the critical Arizona Senate race. What is up, uh, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video, and today we have to talk about the 2024 Arizona Senate race because, let's face it, we are in deep trouble here. Now, I'm not one of those people that likes to doom and gloom about everything. That's not healthy. That's not good. But what's happening in Arizona is a complete disaster. I Just look at this headline. Carrie Lake asks the Arizona Supreme Court to declare her governor despite current Senate bid. Yeah. This wasn't from a year ago. This isn't from six months ago. No. This is from July 12th, 2024. Just one day ago. So let us get into it. Carrie Lake is asking the Arizona Supreme Court to declare her governor two years after she lost the election for that office, despite her current run for the state's open Senate seat. Right off the bat, I have a bunch of problems here. Are you serious right now? We are in 2024. It's been two years. Now, I do want to be clear. What happened in 2022 is a shit show in Arizona. I'm not defending them. That was a disgrace, what Maricopa County did. But guess what? It's been two years. It's over. Why the hell would you decide, you know what? We're going to ask the Arizona Supreme Court to declare me the governor. Despite the fact you're currently running for the U.S. Senate. So let's just say hypothetically, somehow, some way, the Arizona Supreme Court realizes, oh, wait, no, Carrie Lake is actually the governor. Well, are you going to drop out then? Are you going to become the governor tomorrow if that happens? If that's the case, what the hell were you doing running for the Senate? And if you decide to continue your bid for the U.S. Senate, why the hell are you asking for them to do this now? You see the problem here? No matter what happens here, it makes Carrie Lake look bad. Because if she somehow becomes the governor, which is, that's not going to happen. That's, that's delusional. On Thursday, Lake attorneys Kurt Olson and Jennifer Wright filed a petition for review arguing the Superior Court and Court of Appeals should have reinstated her case over new evidence. They claim the new evidence shows that Maricopa County did not conduct the necessary logic and accuracy testing on the vote tabulators, Arizona law reported. Wait, I thought we knew about this for two years now. I could have sworn that they talked about this a year and a half ago. I could be wrong, but I thought we heard about this already. And that's awful. Again. I am not defending what Maricopa County did. You don't have to say the election was stolen. You don't have to go that far. But let's be real. How they conducted the election is a disgrace. I don't care if that hurt Carrie Lake or hurt Katie Hobbs. It doesn't matter if it benefited one party or the other. It doesn't freaking matter. What happened in Maricopa County was a disaster. The vote lines were three hours long, people couldn't vote, they had to come back later, and even then they probably weren't allowed to vote. It was a disaster. All right, I'm not defending Maricopa County, and that's why we need real electoral reform. But that doesn't mean two years after the fact, we should still be having lawsuits over, actually, Carrie Lake should be the next governor. No, it's over. You lost. It was horseshit what happened. I'm not denying that. But we are in July of 2024. We are, what, 20 days before the primary? It is coming up very quick. And you're worried about, oh, going to the Arizona Supreme Court, asking them to declare me the governor. And if they somehow did, I guarantee you, the United States Supreme Court's going to say no. No way in hell we're going to allow that. Which, they're right. You cannot just say two years after the fact, oh wait, new evidence proves that you know, Katie Hobbs didn't actually win. Yes, it sucks what happened. I understand that. But this is going to do nothing but hurt your candidacy. Because no matter what you do, you lose. If you somehow become the governor, your numbers are going to be like 5%. I'm just being real. Because you're talking about something so ahistorical. Especially two years after the fact. This isn't, you know, oh, two months after the election. No. It's been almost two years since the election. And you're still going on about, actually, we are the rightful governor of Arizona. Really? 
you're the rightful governor of Arizona, but you're running for the U.S. Senate. What's the plan here? So if you're not the nominee, are you going to stay in the race, actually? What's your plan? Is it Should Mark Lambs be the nominee then? There's so many issues with this argument they're using that actually Carrie Lake's the real governor. So what? If she's the real governor, why are you in the race? Why? Lake's petition claims that Maricopa County did not properly verify signatures on mail-in ballots, which that's a legitimate question. I'm not denying that. No one should. Because there were some serious questions in November of 2022 in Maricopa County. But... The problem is you're trying to make the lawsuit about actually that means I should be the next governor. No, it sucks what happened, but it, it's been two years. It's a waste of time, a waste of money, resources, all of that. To rectify the problem, she requested a new gubernatorial election or to proportionally strike 275,000 ballots. Because Hobbs eclipsed Lake by more than 10% of Maricopa's early vote undergrounds, Lake would win, it reads. Oh my goodness, are you serious right now? This is your argument. We have to strike 275,000 ballots. And therefore, Lake would win because Hobbs won the early vote in Maricopa County. What are we doing here? What? What's the point? If you're running for the U.S. Senate, fine, sue them to make sure they actually do their damn job. That's one thing. But what are we doing by trying to rectify the past mistakes by declaring a new election? That's not going to happen. That's unheard of, especially for a governor's race. And let alone to strike 275,000 ballots. In the unlikely event that her challenge succeeds, it would drastically complicate the current Senate race, the Republican nomination for which she is already favored to win. And that's, in my opinion, the biggest problem here. If she somehow is declared the winner, let's say, okay, it takes about a couple of weeks for the Supreme Court to actually make a decision. Let's say on August 5th or whatever, they declare Carrie Lake the next governor, okay? Let's say that's what happens. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but let's just say, okay, fine, whatever. She somehow wins. Well, based on the current polling in Arizona's primary for the Republican side, Carrie Lake is going to be the nominee. And the primary is like J July like 30th, I think. It could be like July 20th or something. Either way, if she wins her lawsuit, but let's say it's in August, and she's somehow the nominee, or she's going to be the nominee for the Senate, and she somehow won her case, what happens then? That's a serious question. We would be screwed in that situation because Carrie Lake's the governor, supposedly, in that situ in that hypothetical. Therefore, would she stay in the race or would she drop out? If she really thinks she's the governor or she should be the governor, she should drop out right now and endorse Mark Lamb so you can avoid that possible shit show. Because what happens? Is she going to stay in the race? But if she stays in the race, what was the point of becoming the governor? If she drops out, what was the point of running in the first place? You see the problem? It puts her in a very bad situation no matter what. But it's like, what do you do here? If you're a Republican in Arizona, your only other alternative is Mark Lamb. And I support him, but he's not going to win. That's the problem we have here. Carrie Lake is doing this stupid decision. I don't get what her campaign's doing here. I just don't get it. I have nothing against Carrie Lake herself. Right? I, I, I think she's a great person, all of that. But this is politically stupid. You gain nothing. Hell, you give Ruben Gallego plenty of ammo. Because no matter what happens, either she somehow becomes a governor... And he attacks the Republicans for stealing the governorship or whatever. And if she does lose the case, which I think she's going to, Ruben Gallego has free ammo to say, hey, Carrie Lake has lost like 50 different lawsuits. She has spent millions of dollars, hundreds if not thousands of hours. Instead of, you know, trying to run for the Senate, trying to worry about Arizona, she's worried about herself. 
And that's a legitimate attack. That's why I think this is stupid. Again, suing Maricopa County for to fix their system, that's not a problem I have. In fact, I support that. If she does that, go ahead. That's great. But to say, you know what? I'm actually the governor of Arizona. So I'm going to declare myself governor through the Supreme Court. You lose no matter what you do. And why would you do this now? I thought you dealt with this a year ago. You were done. You lost all of your lawsuits. Every legal avenue was exhausted. It's done. You could talk about election reform. Fine. But to keep going on and on and on about, actually, I'm the governor of Arizona now. Despite the fact you lost, right? As of now, Katie Hobbs is the governor. You lost the race. It sucks what happened. Again, I'm not denying that. She lost by only 17,000 votes. And I guarantee you, with what Maricopa County did, if they ran the election properly, I'm not saying they stole it. Though. No one should say that automatically, that Maricopa County stole the election. I hate when people say that. They mishandled the election. That's true. And they did such a shit job, especially in Republican areas, that that probably is the reason why Cary Lake lost. That's a legitimate reason. But to keep going on about how she's actually the governor and decides to have this lawsuit now, in July of 2024, just four months, not even four months away from the election, we're getting closer to November, and she's still worried about this. It's a bad look for Carrie Lake and Republicans in Arizona. It really is. It does nothing. It, in, in what scenario is this a net positive for Carrie Lake? How? How can this be positive? All that's going to happen is either she's seen as insane for trying a lawsuit for the 50th time, despite claiming that she's used every legal avenue and still worried about it in July of 2024, or she somehow wins and a bunch of Democrats are going to say the Supreme Court in Arizona is rigged. We got to vote for Ruben Gallego even more or even Joe Biden or whatever. There's no win for Kerry Lake here or Republicans. We just got to see what happens. But I just, I really thought this was a parody. I thought this was fake news. This was, you know, the Babylon Bee. No, this is a legitimate thing she's doing right now. And there's a good chance we lose the Arizona Senate race because of it. And again, I know that we weren't the favorites either way, but look at the current state of polling. Outside of Remington, Emerson has her down by four, Rasmussen down by three, Fabrizio down by three, Main Street Research down by six. I understand it's early. I know it's July. There's a lot of undecideds, whatever. Hell, there's, there's the Green Party's more than likely going to run someone. But at some point... You have to look at this race and say to yourself, oh my goodness, she is doing nothing but mistake after mistake. Whether it's the abortion stuff, whether it's these lawsuits, she's not going to win. I really don't think she has a pathway right now. It's a Could she win? I guess. But I'm just trying to be honest. I don't think she's going to win. And at this point, I, I have no clue what Republicans do here. Because she's just, just, she's flat out destroying any chances she or even Mark Lamb had. Because if Mark Lamb is somehow the nominee, the party would have been split 50 50 for one. It would be a very divided primary. But number two, people are going to look at whoever the Republican is and say they are affiliated with Carrie Lake. We're not going to vote for that. We just got to see what happens, but not a good situation. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, Smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Godspeed to all of you.